Welcome to Thoughts Roundup. Glad to have you today. Let's talk just a little bit about uh, Genesis. Genesis. Or let's just call it Thoughts from Genesis. Genesis, the first book of the Bible, is a book of facts. Facts. Can we handle facts? It's not something that we throw around and bring an idea back and someone else throws in an idea and someone else throws in an idea and we pool it all together. It's not something that this preacher said or that preacher said or this church member said or this mother or grandmother or father. It's facts, facts. It's a book of first. It's a book of first. First things that ever happened. Boy, it is a miracle that we have a, a, a record of the first things that happened because we were nowhere around. We were nowhere around. It gives us a beginning of everything. Whoa, whoa. I might have just gone too far. It gives us the beginning of everything except God. And that's where the people get mixed up. A world leaps out of nowhere. Isn't that something? A world just leaps out of nowhere. And the skies are populated. How do we approach this? How do we approach this? There's not but one way to approach it. And that's in simple faith. In simple faith. You see, all everything else is theory. Everything else is theory. A young reporter one time was given an assignment to write on some type of... Uh, a function that the community had and he was so excited about doing his first job and maybe causing him to climb the ladder and he wrote uh, I, I forget how many pages page after page after page he wrote about this event and he took it to the old reporter that had been there for so many years. And he handed it to him and later the old reporter brought it back and said, cut it in half. Cut it in half. He was offended, but he went and cut it in half. And he took it back and the reporter read it and he said, cut it in half. Took it back later and he said, cut it in half. Well, this young reporter got so upset and he was so angry and the old reporter told him, said, you must remember 
that the creation of the world is said within ten words. <laughs> In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Let me say this. If you doubt creation, you're going to doubt salvation. And if you doubt Genesis, then you're going to doubt Revelations. If you don't believe the beginning, you're not going to believe the end. Just a few little thoughts about creation.